after a drought, which we had a long drought, it rained for a few hours the other day. Um, our snake bean gourd is uh, about three inches longer than it was. I'll show you on the other side in a minute. Um, we still got a few flowers. Um, I haven't seen any more female flowers, but that doesn't mean they're not here. It just means I haven't seen them. And this Arkansas Traveler, which was a volunteer because we could not uh, find any more uh, for this year. This was the volunteer that came up by itself from last year. I guess we left a few, you know, because we didn't do our garden cleanup like uh, normal people do in the fall. We just kind of left it over winter and then cleaned it up in the spring. And it is a jungle. I can't really walk through here anymore uh, because, you know, I've got the pallets over here and uh, these uh, peppermint candy cane zinnias are just phenomenal. They're still growing. There's a uh, bindweed. I'm going to have to get him because he look at him. He's reaching right for him. Birch trellises. You remember that Ed put shade cloth. Well, actually, it's not shade cloth. It is, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, landscape fabric. But anyway, so he put this landscape fabric over here to shade a lot of our stuff. And, um, I mean, our snake bean, you can see, it's probably another um, three or four inches since we last looked at it. Uh, but the rest of this um, the noodle beans are all over the top. They, it's like they don't even need anything to hold on to. So they're just kind of wrapping around themselves. I might go ahead and throw that little end that's sticking out over the top. So it can just, you know, try to find a, a latch on the other side. You can see that uh, the grasshoppers have been eating my flowers off of these tomatoes. There's not any um, hornworms. Uh, I'm thankful right now anyway. The BT seems to be working even with the uh, grasshoppers. You can see this right here. Um, this hadn't been watered because that's kind of the downside to having all this bean and leaf and all this stuff um, overneath the, uh, overneath, <laughs> new word, over the um, arched trellis. It's because things don't catch like they should. You know, they, it doesn't catch the water because the leaves are pretty much, you know, redirecting the water somewhere else. Um, but yeah, they are all kinds of crazy. So, look at that. There's squash bugs um, since the rain. Even with diatomaceous earth on here, they still manage to lay their eggs before they die. This one's not dead. That's a juvenile. 